Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to interface the Stanza and Spacey natural language processing libraries using a third library named Spacey Stanza. Spacey Stanza is a small library developed by the developers of Spacey which allows you to use Stanza language models in Spacey. There is, however, one limitation to what can be done, that is, the language in question must be supported by both Stanza and Spacey. For example, we cannot use the Stanza language model for Wolof that we've been exploring in the previous videos in Spacey, because Spacey does not support Wolof. To get started, let's import the Spacey and Spacey Stanza libraries, and note that the name of the Spacey Stanza module contains an underscore, not a dash. By importing these libraries, we now have access to them in Python. So what we're going to do next is we use the load pipeline function from the Spacey Stanza module to load a Stanza pipeline for the Finnish language. We then assign the result under the variable NLP underscore FI. The load pipeline function requires at least one argument named name, which defines the code um, for the language for which the language model will be loaded. And also optionally, if you've stored the stanza models in some directory other than the default one, then you also need to use the dir argument to point out where the stanza models can be found. So let's just load the model and as you can see you get the typical output produced by stanza. So you have the various components of the natural language processing pipeline and the data or corpora used to train those components which in this case correspond to the Turku dependency tree bank. And then we can just continue by examining the output. So what did we get by calling the load pipeline function? And if we run this cell, then we see that, oh, it's a spacey language object for Finnish. So what we got back was a spacey language object, which contains a pipeline for processing text written in the Finnish language. And this language object contains the same functionalities as the language objects that we learned to use in part two of these materials. We can, for example, take some text in Finnish and then provide it as a string object to the spacey language model under NLP underscore FI. And then what we get back is a spacey doc object. So we can, for example, get the sentences contained in this document using the sense attribute and cast the output into a list and this will give us then the sentences contained in this document. I hope you found this short video useful and if you have any questions about interfacing the stanza and spacey libraries using spacey stanza then feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks!